You probably remember your grandmother telling your grandfather who was on antihypertensive therapy to stop putting salt on his meal. She was right. We know from our studies that salt sensitivity is genetically determined and we can detect that in urine. In the past, we have established a method to analyze 64 different steroid hormones in urine, like for example testosterone or progesterone or cortisone, and we plan to extend the method to bile acids and cholesterol metabolites. For a urinary steroid profile, we ask the patient to collect urine in a container for 24 hours, but we need only a small amount of this urine for our analysis. Mice are placed in special cages, called metabolic cages, where urine is collected directly in a cylinder. It takes three days to prepare the sample for gas chromatography and mass spectrometry. We can also isolate single tubules in animal kidneys and measure the transport of different substances. We anesthetize the animal and we perfuse the kidney with collagenase in order to somehow melt the structure of the kidney. And then we take the kidney, we cut it in small slices, in small pieces, and we can pull apart the tubules with special very thin needles. And based on the localization in the kidney, on the structure, on the color, on the thickness of the tubules, we can recognize the different segments of the nephron. These techniques help us to understand better renal physiology and should help us to develop later on new strategies for the treatment of renal disease.